utility support that that would pay. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna mess up a lot of families. I hear. I'm talking to people around here. I hear women saying they're gonna have to quit their jobs. They need those incomes. Uh, on a personal level, for me. What would happen with my son is my son who needs 24-hour day care, there's a chance that his one-on-one -on -one care could be cut in half so that he, he can only have one-on-one -on -one, uh, 12 hours a day. The least our government can do is protect us. Number one uh, priority of our government, to protect us, to provide an education for all of our children and to help the youngest the oldest, and those who are truly in need of a little assistance. And we're here today because we love somebody and we care for somebody who's truly in need of just a little assistance. The least we can do is support you and be, in a, be of assistance to you. This is not how we balance the budget. Uh, my husband and I both work full time. I take time out of my working schedule to meet with her birth to three therapist. She has about eight appointments a month, um, and they come to us. They come to us in the home or in her daycare, but I'm at most appointments, so I take time out of my work day to go be with her um, during her therapy, and the waiver would help, help with that. Um, and then we would just have to wait even longer for services, because um, there's a waiting list, plus two more years before we could apply if these cuts are approved. Uh, when my husband was dying, he fought so hard to live because he didn't want to leave his son. He was the most extraordinary father, there with me every step of the way all those years. And and I know finally when it was pretty clear that, that he wasn't going to make it, there was no way he would survive, um, I sat down with him one night and I told him, I said, you know, I want you to know, this is so personal, but I want you to know that you can leave if you have to, if you need to. And I promise you, a deathbed promise, that I will take care of our son and I will make sure that I fight for him until I draw my last breath, which is what my husband did until he drew his. And, and that was my deathbed promise to a man who loved this child literally more than life. And um, I can't go back on that. So I will go anywhere, talk to anybody, and fight the good fight in the name of Bob Denver, who I love so much, darling, and in the name of my son, Colin.